Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you learn everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. And if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, if you want to catch every episode of my YouTube channel. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Also, make sure you share my videos with everyone that you know. Okay, as you all know, I am a pharmacy technician and if you want to become certified, I am going to leave a link in the description and also in the comments of this video. Um, I partnered with a company called Pharmacy Tech Lessons. Onisha Biggs and her team will help you become a certified pharmacy technician. And the best thing about it is that you can become certified in 60 days. They will teach you everything that you need to know about how to become a pharmacy technician. So if you are interested in becoming one, make sure you look in the description or the comments and I'll leave it there for you. And also make sure you use my discount code. It's a 5% off discount. So make sure you apply that as well. As you all know, I do do a question of the day and my question for today is what is the craziest costume you've ever worn i really haven't worn a lot of costumes um I, one year i wore a a santa santa i don't even know what to even call it a mrs santa claus suit and last year i wore an elf suit so i think that's the craziest what i've worn but i was sitting with a patient one day and he told me that he wore a costume that was called a one night stand. So what he did was, <laughs> I thought this was so funny. He put he put like this, this sheet around him and he put a, a lampshade, I think a lampshade on top of his head and then a picture frame, like an empty picture frame. He put that around, around his neck, just to hang around his neck, just a, 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 a empty picture frame. And he said that was called a one night stand. I thought that was pretty interesting, but I, I would have never thought to do that. Anyway, I need to give a shout out to a young lady named Jonisha Majet, if I'm saying that correct, Jonisha Mayet. Not sure how to pronounce it, but she guessed my question. Um, my question was, what video did Beyonce have a glow theme in her video? And the name of the video was Blow, and she got it absolutely correct. So today, so today, we are going to be talking about Young's Rule. If you are, are in class to be a pharmacy technician, or if you're studying to be a pharmacy technician, or if you want to take the class through pharmacy tech lessons, this is going to help you out. So I'm going to go through all the steps with you on how to learn Young's Rule. I've already did Fred's Rule, so I'm going to leave it in the iCards right here if you want to watch that. So I'm going to leave that there. So let's get into it. Okay. So we're working on Young's Rule. So what Young's Rule formula is, is going to be the age of the child in years divided by the age of the child in, the, in years uh, plus 12. And then of course, times the adult dose, okay? So that's Young's Rule formula for a pediatric dosage, okay? The age of the child in years divided by the age of the child plus 12 times the adult dose, okay? So let's work this one out. It says a three-year-old is prescribed vancomycin. The normal adult dose is 500 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child, okay? So please make sure if you have not watched my video on Fry's Rule or Clark's Rule, make sure you watch those too, okay? All right, because I, I think that this would this would come a lot easier to you, okay? All right, moving on. So we need to, we need to pull these, these things out that we need. So the first thing that we're gonna pull out of this problem is what is the age of the child in years? And as this um, word problem stated, the child is three years old, okay? So we're going, to we're going to put that as our numerator. So we're going to put three. The next thing that we need to find out is what, a, what is the, the <laughs> What is the age of the child? We know that the child is three, and we need to add 12 to that, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and write three plus 12, okay? Then, uh, then according to Young's rule, we need to multiply all of this times the adult dose, okay? So what is the adult dose? 
that I just read through in that problem. If you said 500, then you are absolutely correct because it does say the normal adult dose is 500 milligrams, okay? So first thing that we're going to do is we have our three here. So three plus 12, what is three plus 12? That is going to be 15, that is absolutely correct. Three plus 12 is 15. So now, we can divide this and multiply this times 500 in order to get the age, excuse me, in order to get the prescribed dose for the child, okay? So now we have three divided by 15 times 500. And so the pediatric dose of the child's dose is going to be 100 milligrams. Okay, because that's what we're trying to achieve here. We are trying to achieve the child's dosage, okay? All right, now that's problem number one. Let's move on to problem number two. Okay, so this is problem number two. So we have three more to go. We're gonna work out five problems together. Okay, again, just, just as a friendly reminder, this is Young's rule, the age of the child in years divided by the age of the child plus 12 times the adult dose and we're trying to solve for x. x is going to be equal, it is going to equal the child's dose, okay? All right, this one says, a seven year old is prescribed amoxicillin. The normal adult dose is 150 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child, okay? So we need to look in the formula. So we need the age of the child in years, which is seven. Then we need the age of the child again, which is seven, plus 12, plus 12, times the adult dose. And according to this problem, to this word problem, the normal adult dose is 150 milligrams. And you can put the milligrams if you like, if that's, if that's going to help you remember what unit you're working with. Because I don't need you to solve this problem for milliliters this needs to be milligrams. I don't need you to solve it for grams, not unless it says at the end, how many grams will this be, okay? All right, so we know that we have seven, so seven plus 12 is 19. You wanna put that in your calculator, you can. So there's our 19 by adding that seven plus 12, 19, times 150, that 150, which is the adult dose, so we are trying to solve for X, and X is going to be the child's dose, okay? So let's get our calculator out and divide seven, divided by 19 times 150, okay? So the, the child's dose is going to be 55.2 milligrams. And that is going to be your answer. And I always like to double check myself because I do not want to give anyone the wrong answer. Okay, seven divided by 19, and I do suggest that you do that as well. Double check yourself. Again, that is 55.2 milligrams, okay? All right, now if you are interested in becoming a certified pharmacy technician, you can look in the comments and you can look in my um, description. I will have everything there for you as far as my page link. And even if you wanna to go to my page link and just take a look around, I want you to toggle to the bottom and it will tell you everything that you're going to go over and that your, and that your, um, your, your uh, teammate or your, your coach is going to help you study for, for 60 days. And just you can just look on there. If that's something that you would like to do, Go ahead and sign up, but make sure you use my 5% discount code because I could go shopping at Sephora with that discount. Okay, moving on to problem number three. Okay, on to problem number three. Still using Young's Rule. That's what this whole video is about, Young's Rule. Okay, so again, here's the, we need the age of the child in years divided by the age of the child plus 12 times the adult dose. This problem reads, a two-year-old is prescribed fluconazole. The normal adult dose is 250 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? First thing that we need to grab, age of the child in years. We know that this child is two. Age of the child plus 12. So it's going to be two plus 12 times the adult dose. And according to this problem, the adult dose is 250 milligrams, okay? So that's going to be times 
250, okay? So now we need to add these two together before we can go any further, okay? So two plus 12 is 14. I'm just gonna go ahead and change that to 14 while I'm here. And now we divide two, divided by 14 times 250. So I want you to put that in your calculator. Put two divided by 14, go straight into your multiplication key, times 250. And that is going to give you x, which that's just me, that's just how I was taught to solve for x, okay? And remember, x is going to be our child's dose because that's the answer that we're trying to achieve. So x is going to be 35.7, and you can put the one if you like, 30, 35.7, and what unit are we working with? We are working with milligrams, milligrams. So that answer is 35.71 milligrams. That's how much the child is going to receive every dose, okay? We're gonna work out two more, two more, okay? So stay with me and work these problems out as I go through them, okay? You can always come back to this video and, and, and re-watch it and learn it back over, okay? And share this video with, with someone you know that may want to become a pharmacy technician. They may not know what they wanna do in life. We have a, a lot of high school students that's undecided. My daughter is one that's undecided. So she one minute she wants to be an interior decorator, she wants to be a pharmacy technician, she wants to be a pharmacist. These kids, they, they just don't know exactly what they wanna be yet and that's fine. How, you can't you can't really decide on what you want to be at the age of 18 because their little minds change quite a bit. Okay, let's go to number four. Okay, you guys, we are on number four. So, still on Young's rule, of course. This problem reads: a five-year-old is prescribed ampicillin. The normal adult dose is 300 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? Okay. According to the formula, we are going to get the age of the child in years, which the age of the child in years is five. We're gonna choose the age of the child again, plus 12. So the child is five, plus 12, and the 12 is just coming from the formula. This is just part of the standard formula for Young's rule, okay? So if you're wondering where that's coming from, okay? All right, then we're gonna multiply this times the adult dose. According to this problem, it says the normal adult dose is 300 milligrams. So we're gonna multiply that times 300. I'm gonna put X over here because I don't know if you can see this part down here or not. Okay, but the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna combine these so we can get this addition out of the way. So 12 plus five or five plus 12 is 17. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 17 so I'll have that out of the way. Now the only thing that we have to do is divide this fraction and multiply it times 300. Of course, when you divide that fraction, it's gonna give you a decimal. And then we're gonna multiply that times 300. So five divided by 17 times, go right into your multiplication key, times 300, okay? That's going to give you 88.23 milligrams, okay? And if on your, if on your PTCB exam, it just says 88 milligrams and it doesn't say the 0.23. Choose your best guess, okay? One problem, excuse me, one multiple choice may say 90, the other may say 150, the other multiple choice question may say 75, and then you have one that says 88. Please, please choose the 88, okay? I need you to do that for me, okay? Got one more problem and then you've made it through this one, okay? All right, so let's get into problem number five. Okay, we are on the last problem. You made it! Okay, all right, we're still working on Young's rule. Okay, the age of the child in years divided by the age of the child plus 12 times the adult dose. Let's read our question. A 10-year-old is prescribed Zosin. Uh, the normal adult dose is 3.375 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? Okay, we're gonna work this out the same way we worked the previous four, okay, you guys? So don't, don't get distracted by this number right here because we're just gonna put that in our calculator, in our calculator, so don't, don't get discouraged. Okay, what is the age of the child in years? The age of the child in years is 10. We need the age of the child again, which is 10 plus 12 times the adult dose. What is the adult dose? 
3.375, okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to combine this addition problem because we don't wanna um, leave, leave this the way it is. So 10 plus 12 is 22, 22. 10 plus 12 is 22. All right, so now we need to divide this fraction which is going to give us a decimal. And then we need to multiply times the adult dose, which the adult dose is 3.375. So let's use our calculators to do that, okay? All right, so let's take that 10 divided by 22 times 3.375, which is going to give us 1.5. And put our X over here because we're solving for X because X is our child's, X is our child's dose. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so that answer is going to be 1.53 milligrams. And there you have it. All right, thank you for learning all this information. But the main thing that I need you to do as a pharmacy technician or an aspiring pharmacy technician is to memorize this formula because you're not gonna have this written down anywhere when you take your PTCB exam, okay? So you have to remember these formulas. All right, thank you for watching, you guys. Uh, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.